Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last episode we got turned into a Deku Scrub as you guys can see right here we are clearly a scrub. The Happy Mask Salesman over here, as creepy as he was he stalked us here and I admit it is kind of creepy for a grown man to stalk a child into the woods. But as creepy as he is he did promise he could return us to normal if we get our Rock Arena back. But he only has uh, three days until he his time here is done and he has to move on somewhere else. Which is convenient because three days is also the same amount of time everybody in Termina has until the day that everyone and everything dies. So let's go jump into this. And we get to begin our first day. 72 hours remain. And welcome to South Quark Town, by the way. We're going to be here a lot, by the way. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Uh, sorry, just, just thinking out loud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stay there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find a skull kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he is up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me... The Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find a Great Fairy in there. Okay, let, let's go! Oh yeah, also this dog hates scrubs. He will attack. See? He doesn't do any dares, but he does attack. Which is a bit of an inconvenience. Everyone just hates scrubs. Why? What's wrong with being a scrub? Anyways, we'll go to North Quark Town and we will go see the Great Fairy. As a uh, title has told us too. Also, there's Tingo here. Let's buy a map from him. I can't afford a map, by the way. What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my! <laughs> my name is Tingo. I think I'm the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Um, Tingo, sir? Um... Tattle is not a sir. Tattle is a she, which would mean that Tattle is a male. Okay. Alas, though I am only age 35, no fairy has come to me yet. Well, maybe that's why, because you're not a kid no more. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Yeah, I'll buy the Quark Town map. Uh, the Woodfall map is 40 rupees. We can get that uh, a lot cheaper later on. We'll just stick with the Quark Town one. Yippee! Yay, we got a map of Quark Town. Whip shall we again? Tingo, Tingo, Hula Ba! <laughs> These are the magic words that Tingo created himself. Don't steal them! Okay, I won't. I'm gonna cut this down. Yeah, yeah. It is kind of annoying how that grass tries to get away. Um, there is a piece of heart up in this tree. We can't get it right now, but it's up there. We can't get up there while we are a scrub. There is a um, minigame over here. I am garbage at that minigame, so we're not going to bother. What do you want, Tattle? Hey, aren't you going to the Great Fairy Shrine near the North Gate? I'm right outside of it. Well, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. Calm down. Only an hour has passed. I'm still doing good for time, and I'm not going to need a three days. Oh, no. The Great Fairy. Oh, no. She has been broken into pieces. Young one! Please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked duck kid. Please find a one straight fairy lost in town and bring her to this fountain. Okay, I can do that. Thank you. I know exactly where that fairy is. It's in a different spot uh, depending on night and day. If it is uh, during the night, 
It will be in, um, I believe it's in Eastern Quark Town. Oh yeah, the guards uh, won't let you leave, so don't try. They'll let you leave once you're not a scrub anymore. They'll basically let anyone pass, but not a scrub. But yeah, I think it's down here in East Quark Town at night time. But it's day right now, so we're not going to go down there. Instead, we are going to go up here. Get away from me, doggy. No, bad dog. Bad! Bad boy! Urgh. During the day, it is here. Those frogs will be important later. Well, kind of not exactly important, but it is for a side quest I could do. Please, hear my pray. The masked dog kid has broken me apart and shed my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Park Town. Okay. I am on the job. Uh, you can go ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Uh, that person will come out. Won't uh, let you in, though. Just uh, stand there looking around for a bit and then uh, leave. That's fine, though. Anyways, we have to now restore the fairy. Uh, this owl statue, by the way, is important. I can't do anything with it right now. Ye who holds the sacred sword, the proof of our encounter. I can't use my sword right now because I am a scrub, so we can't do anything with that, but... Yeah, that is gonna be how we're gonna save in this game, because this game, as you can see from the menu, it's not like Ocarina of Time where you can just uh, save anytime you want. You have to either play this at a time, or find one of those statues. Anyways, uh, we have a few tasks we have to do, and we're gonna start off by uh, repairing this uh, this great fairy because it's kind of needed for our next task. Hi, great fairy! I saved you. Yeah, aren't you beautiful? <laughs> Tacto and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. I'm not really given a choice. I have to accept it. Now I got magic. Yay! And I have grown more as a scrub. Ooh! You've been granted magic power. In your current form, press B to shoot bubble blast. Press and hold B to blow big bubbles. Yeah, you know how normal scrubs shoot Deku Nuts? Uh, we shoot bubbles instead. <laughs> Release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jars and potions. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know the Scott Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. Or you'll be like me and broken into millions of pieces. If ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. Remember that. Remember to come back to see her once uh, you are not a scrub no more. Anyways, well, we used up a lot of time. All right, the day is already halfway over. And now with these bubbles, we can pop these. And we can also shoot Tinkle back down if you want to talk to him since he's up in a balloon now. But I got all I need from him. Hello, you. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a decky scrap. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside of town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is, but maybe I won't. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, line up, guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, then I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So we have to get them before the second day begins. So we have all day, like the rest of this day, and we also have night, and there's one down here. 
Ah, you got me. Now they're only four left. Also, you can stop them by running away, by the way, because they do run. Uh, by shooting a bubble at them. Like, that would trip them. So there's two here. Uh. Yo, wait, Ted. Come back here. All right, you know what? I'm shooting with a bubble. I'm going to demonstrate that I can stop them with that. Eh. See? You caught me. Only three left. All right, the other two are in the east and west. There is none down in the south clock town. You see one up there, and you see another guy up there on top of the inn. This is the eastern clock town. Actually, enjoy it here. There's actually a lot of stuff you can do here. This is what you need to code for to get in there. Hello, you. Eh. Eh. Sorry, Kuko. Don't you try to leave. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, only two left now. Yeah, you don't want to be up that Kuko anymore because, uh, you know what happens when you beat up Kuko? Shut up, Tattle. I'm, I'm doing fine. I know what I'm doing. It's not like I'm short on time or anything. Oh, but it, he, down he goes. Don't try to leave. No, 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 no. No, don't you dare leave. Eh. Yeah, I... yeah if you go down there, uh, you can't, you can't leave town, but he can get past that guard, so... You have to go in somewhere and then come back to reset his location. And there's another piece of heart up there. There's a lot of piece of hearts here. And there are a lot of side quests, like I said, so... This is the, this game is perfect for people that love side quests, which is probably why I love it so much. And Western Quark Town, it's very wise to visit here. Because of this guy, but I'll store, I'll talk to him and do his little thing uh, later. For now. Ah, no way, you finally got me. I beat your game. You're pretty good for a Deku Scrap, if only you were human. Then I could give you an original Bomber's Notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs! I guess not, once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang. And boy did we ever regret it, sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Four, two, three, five, one. Alright, I'm gonna write that down because I have shit memory. Four, two, three, five, one. By the way, you don't have to do that little game with the bomber kids. Uh, you can just go over there and try every combination you want with uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Can take you a while. It's easier to just catch these kids, though. And if you remember that, uh, by the way. It's very wise to remember that, uh, that code. Like, even when you go back in time. Yeah, spoiler alert, we are gonna be going back in time. But remember that code. Because you don't remember that code, you just have to catch the kids again. And if you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. I know the secret code, kid. Four, two, three, five, one. Um, that's right, if you know the code. Then you remember, right? Okay, here you go. Wonder why that kid sounds like that way, like, yeah. Uh, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Oh, yeah, and, um, the Bomber Secret Society of Justice Forever. Right. Alright, so this is an underground waterway to get to the observatory. And this is also the Bomber's hideout. <laughs> We're a scrub, so we can't exactly swim. Oh, sh well, that's what happens. You drown. You don't want to drown. Uh, I don't want to fight that skull too. I'm just going to go around him like so. Uh-oh, it's almost night of the first day. Oh, boy. Uh, pop that. What you got to say, Tattle? I wonder how the astronomer knows the sky kid. 
Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. Uh, technically, I still do. Night of the first day. 60 hours remain. All right, let's climb this ladder. And let's go down here. I love the music here, by the way. Also, another reason why I love this game is like the dark atmosphere and like how well thought out it is. Like, uh, a lot of thought went into each character, like, uh, how they are living out their final three days before they die, you know. It's very well thought out and kind of depressing, also. Well, well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers Gang? Hmm? Your manners seem much better than those of this of your mischievous friend from the other day. Oh, the Scott Kid is not my friend, sir. <laughs> that ill man of troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He is probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Telescopes have never been my thing, sir, but I uh, sure. Alright, so here we are looking through the telescope. Uh, I didn't really show you guys uh, this, but where is it? Hmm. But yeah, you look up there, there's a skull kid causing some mischief. And that is one pissed off moon. That is the true face of terror. One angry moon, and in three days it's going to destroy everyone and everything. Don't, don't, don't be doing that. Don't go shaking your ass at me. Stupid brat. And there's the moon. Oh, look at that. Can you imagine living in this world, by the way? Like, you look up and you see that, and every day it gets closer and closer. That is terrifying. Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go to that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how the troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door. And that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Well, we can't find out the kick and float. That's probably how. Alright, we get to go out this door. This will take us out of Quark Town into Termina Field. We can't really do much from here though. We get the moon's tear. And that's it. We can't exactly leave. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, the world map of this game. We're in the eastern uh, section. It's nighttime, so there's supposed to be bubbles out, but I guess not. Anyways, um, I want to get to the final day. And there's a quick way to speed up the flow of time than uh, just basically waiting. And that's this guy! Yo, hey baby! I'm the Stagman Scarecrow, wandering in search of present music! Time will pass in a blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can dance today and dance till then. Shall we dance? Yeah! Oh yeah! In that case, for get time, let's a dance! Dance, everybody, yeah! Oh yeah! I can see why Darunia loved that song. Who oh, is a good one? <laughs> oh yeah! It was there! It went by in an instant, right? And I'm still full of energy! If you want, we can forget the time and dance till night! Shall we dance? Yeah, we'll dance. Alright, so we're gonna do this a few times until we cannot dance no more. Like, down to our, our final 12 hours. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, welcome back. We had just went three days forward in time. And now we are down to our final 12 hours before everyone and everything dies. Oh yeah, how was that? It went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. But outside it seems to have gotten kind of dangerous. Yikes, I'm getting out of town! Take care! I know a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. 
Would you like to learn it? Sure. Oh yeah, now listen here. It seems that if you play the mysterious song backwards, you can slow the passage of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can move a higher day forward through time, baby. Hey, is that pretty interesting, isn't it? If you learn a new song, come try on me. Until then, I'll see you later, baby. Bye, Mr. Scarecrow. So basically what he meant there is uh, the song of time. You have to play it backwards, like do down A, down A right, down A right. That will slow time down. But if I double the notes, like do right, right, A, A, down, down, uh, I can proceed to, well, night of the first, like, forward, like, you know, like, uh, like half of a day. Oh, shit. Oh, and the rumblies. This happens on uh, the night of the foul day, I forgot. And, yeah, I know it's how we're gonna be like, Look at the time! Look how much time you have left! You're being too slow, kid! And, yeah, it's the night of the foul day. Most of the people, if not all of them, have skipped town. This guy's still here, though. He He's just taunting the moon. Hey, Jackie kid! You waiting for us to finish the bridge from the festival tower to the clock tower entrance up there? Sorry, my apprentice just panicked and ran away. This is all we get for a festival tower. It's not quite tall enough, is it? Sheesh! Even if we went to the top of the festival tower, we wouldn't be able to get up to the clock tower entrance. I apologize for all this. Wish we could scare that moon away. You know, me too. Oh, the rumbles. Wait, wait, I got it. Hi. Yeah, he's not going to let us use this flower. We're going to have to persuade him. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Sorry, mate. Um, I didn't know. The town's carnival is starting to look a little iffy. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can get a gift from my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Sounds convenient. I could use that deku flower. Ah, that stone. You must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. The deku flower included. Yes? You traded the moon's tear for a land title deed. Yay. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or a strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku Scrubs. But you already know that, don't ya? If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. Thanks! I can't do that right now though because I can't leave town. I can't fly as long as you can. I'm jealous of the other Scrubs. They have like so much better. They can shoot uh, nuts and they can fly forever. I can't do any of that. Anyways, um... We have to wait until, uh... We have to wait until midnight strikes. And that's when the door will open and... Uh, pan oh jeez, I missed. And panic will arise as we're in the final hours and... The whole town's all like, No, I can't believe it's finally happening. This is how it ends. Like, this game is very depressing! Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the chest. Oh, okay, fine. Eh. Hey! 50 rupees! I'm gonna have to go trade these in now. And then I have a... Then I have two hours to wait, which I think uh, one hour is uh, one minute. Hey there, little guy. Won't you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even people have money. They don't deposit any. Nothing. Nothing. Because who do you bank nowadays, right? So for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an arm that holds a lot of rupees. So, what it would be? I'll deposit. Alright, so... Um, how much? How much? Uh, I'll give you 87. So this guy is pretty much a bank, which means that if you give him rupees and then you go back in time, um, you'll still have the money here in the bank. 
I don't know how that works. Like, you think you go back in time, uh, he would lose your money too, but he doesn't. Seriously, that's a lot, a lot, a lot, I tell ya. So, little guy, uh, what's your name? Hmm, Link, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. It doesn't need any marks. And it's not gonna hurt. Then what's the point if it doesn't even mark on me? How you know I have the stamp then? There, now I'll know you when I see you. Yeah, even though it makes no sense because when we go back in time, uh, you wouldn't remember this, which means I wouldn't have gotten a little stamp. Oh well, thanks. It is almost time, guys. So we better get up there to that door and wait. That is one pissed off moon. Look how close it got. And I got a piece of hat. Nice. Oh. The door to Quark Tower opens once a year at midnight on the eve of the carnival. Y yeah, thanks, man. Wow, look how close that uh, moon's gone. That is terrifying. Could you imagine living in this world, looking up and seeing that? And then that being the last thing you see in this world? Terrifying! It's almost time. Midnight's almost here. Oh boy. Six more hours now. Until everything and everyone dies. This is the last carnival we're going to get to enjoy because after it, everyone and everything dies. Now we can get up to the clock tower. And we get to listen to this music now. Yeah, that's all we're gonna hear. Don't stop now, look! You can get up there now. I'm going. I made it. Skull Kid! you too. Hey Skull Kid, where'd you give that master worm back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Now. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Ow! Don't speak out loud, stupid fairy! No! What are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think you're a friend after that? Well, Whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> Just look above you. If it's something that can't be stopped, then just try to stop it. Oh dear. You made it fall faster. Uh oh. Oh no. Alright, so we're fighting a skull kid, but we're really not. All we gotta do is shoot him with a bubble. And he will drop the ocarina. And we pick it up. That's that's all we do. You got the ocarina time back! Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set the C and use A and the four C buttons to play it. Press B to stop. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. Oh boy. <laughs> you are already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? I have to. I have to find my friend. Even though it has only been a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please, take this. The Ocarina of Time. I am praying, I am praying that your journey is a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. 
this reminds me of us. Why does the song of time remind you of us? If anything, you think it'd be Zelda's lullaby that reminds us, that reminds you of us. Well, Son of Time has a lot more power in this game than it did in Ocarina of Time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind in a song of memories of Princess Zelda. And there we go. And that's also the only appearance Zelda makes in this game, by the way. The Goddess of Time is protecting you. If you play the Song of Time, she will aid you. Thank you, Goddess of Time! It's not part of it! What are you doing lost in your memories? Get yourself together! Getting that Ocarina back isn't going to help us! Somebody, anybody, get us some time! Help us, please! We need more time! Well, let me show you what the Ocarina can do. Apparently, the Ocarina changes shape with us, by the way. Huh? When did you get that instrument? Yeah, we get, uh, wooden pipes, uh, when we're a scrub. Oh, sign of time. Time to go back in time. Wind the clock back as if none of this has ever happened. Save and return to dawn the first day? Sure thing. <laughs> 